Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a bottle cap that you can attach to a hair bow or a keychain or put a little magnet on the back and put it on your fridge. Quick and simple, takes a few materials and these are what they are. You're going to need these bottle caps. These I bought, um, they're 16 for $2.79, I got them at Michael's. Um, you're going to need some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, this was about $5.00. And a one, woo, excuse me, one inch circular hole punch. Um, it's not necessary, but it makes things easier. If not, just your scissors and a good eye to cut a circle. Okay, I'm just going to show you what some of these will look like when you are done. Here's one that I made for a friend, and this one has a magnet on the back so she can hang on her fridge of her little boy. Um, here's another one. This is a Bruno Mars inspired one. This one does not have a magnet. Um, this one I'll probably put on the back of a bowl. Or the front of a bowl, I'm sorry. Um, here's another one with a magnet. It's another one for my friend. Um, so yeah, that's that. So let's get started. What you're going to need first is your picture. Um, make sure that it's printed on photo paper. Because if not, when you put the Mod Podge on it, it's going to act a little weird. So I'm going to work with, again, a Bruno Mars one. Okay, once you got that going, if you have a circular hole punch, you can get that out. There we go, I have my circle. Gonna need one of these beautiful little bottle caps. Bam, bottle cap. What you're gonna do now, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna need adhesive to um, get whatever your image is stuck into the bottle cap. Fortunately, this is a sticker, so I don't have to apply any adhesive. It's just going to stick itself, luckily for me. And I'm just going to put that on here. And try to center it as best as possible. Uh. Mine's is not that centered, but... We're going to work with it. Okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to get your Mod Podge. And you are going to start on the outer edges. Mine already has a bubble. I'm going to try to avoid that. And fill it in. Okay, my bubble is gone because I popped it. But what you're going to have, oops, is this um, opaque looking thing. You got to let it cure for about 24 hours. And then it'll turn out to be like this. 